week on this... No, I cannot hear that in people. I like, chat, I like it. when you're singing. Do you like it? Yeah, you've got a good voice, you know. Do you think? Yeah. Have you ever thought about making hear... a musical? Oh, I'd love that. Go on, why don't you give? You know why some don't people. you give everyone what you know everyone some wants? You're busy in December. <laughs> <laughs> put, put a call in. Uh, time for some food now. Michaela's in the kitchen. Remind us what you are making today. So, mac and cheese lovers, oh, wow. what? this space. You've elevated this, though, haven't you, to this, the next level? This is the ultimate mac and cheese because not only am I going to give you your veggies within this, so hidden peas and ham, but it's not got a white sauce. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, so Yeah, I know, I know. You're going to... You... Well, it's actually... Derma, we don't even think this is a traditional Italian dish. Really? I was going to ask you the origins. You know we, I love the origin we story. We struggled to work out. Now, macaroni yeah. is the pasta. It's this pasta here, OK? Yes. So, macaroni, that's, that's why they call it mac and cheese. But I reckon, I think we actually don't... We, we had a good old Google. Don't know if it comes from America, England, it feels American. Canadian... I yeah. think it comes from Jamaica. <laughs> Because my mum used to make this all the time. I mean, she never gave me a portion the size of that. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, she we, she used to make mac and cheese. Is it all nice? The time. You know, so maybe it's an American influence. Do you know, know what? I think look, a lot of Italian dishes come from peasants' food, and I can imagine they said um, pasta's light to carry up the mountain, and cheese was always kind of long-lasting. So it's probably one of these things that's evolved. But this the is the ultimate. Pavera. This is the ultimate. This so, is delicious. Those people that hate making white sauce, yeah. and I've got to be honest, is a bit of a faff. Yes, Extra pan, bit of washing up. Oh, no. It's a whole... It's so bad being a cook and having to cook. <laughs> <laughs> you do it with four, feet, four kids on your leg and then this to juggle and a I'm school run. I'm no. Oh. No, I give you a hard time over your cheeks. Uh, tub of ricotta. Mm -hmm. And milk, and that is it. That's it. That is that is the base of my cheats white sauce. I used to do this for my kids all the time. Oh, this so is lovely. You're going to mix it up, and then obviously we're going to pimp so nice. it up now. So this is going to be mixed. How do you normally make a, a white? Was it flour? Well, it's a roux. You yeah. start with the flour and the butter, and then you throw in the milk. But you've got to keep whisking, and yeah. you don't want it to go lumpy. Yep, and yep, yep. sometimes kids call me, and then so it where burns. does the thickening come in then? Is it? Like... Well, the pasta, you've got to remember, you've cooked the pasta, but right. when it goes back in the oven, yeah. it keeps kind of is the starchiness. Absorbs it and all of that. Wow. I've got an idea for you, Dermot. Why don't you just watch Michaela and see what happens? <laughs> sorry, I've got, sorry, I've got him back sorry, for you. Sorry for literally doing my job. <laughs> so I'm going to season this, salt, pepper, and again, people like lots of pepper or not, and then a little, little bit of nutmeg. Oh! Yeah, a little bit nice. of nutmeg. Oh, I like the spice in this. All right. And that would be my cheats nice. white sauce that I use for lots. Right. But in this, we're going to put peas. It's important. And do you know why I love adding the peas? Then you don't have the faff of what, what was the size. My son doesn't like peas, so uh, I'm, I'm going to change that to spring onion. Yeah, fine. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you Good know idea. what? The main reason I do this is because then I don't have to do the cider salad yeah. or the broccoli, yeah. and it's all in. Really? in. And then I put ham. But you, the other day, did it with chorizo, or you can do it with salami, you know? Yeah. So, where's my spoon? It's literally so, everything, isn't it? You've got the carbohydrates, okay. your protein, you've yeah. got your, your veg. But the cheese is key. Yeah. OK, so we've got three cheeses I have got. Now, this is a bit of a debate. I've got cheddar, grated yeah. cheddar, parmigiano and um, fresh mozzarella. Mm. Now, do you like it crunchy or do you like it oozy? I'm enjoying this crunch, I'm not going to lie. So, this is really there's nice. been a bit of a debate. Some, me, I, I, my mum used to make it really kind of... You'd pick it up and you'd almost be, like, drinking drinking cheese. It's lush. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of people out there that want a crunchy topping. It is really nice. So, if you want it more crunchy, then use grated mozzarella, OK? But what I'm going to do now is half of my cheddar is going to go in this mix and half of my parmigiano, OK? I'm going to mix this up now. And this is going to go over my cooked pasta. Now, another little tip for you here. This is cooked pasta that's been drained and covered with a bit of olive oil. Yeah. My little cheat, some people might think this is a bit weird, I'll always double up my pasta when I cook pasta. I run it under cold water, yeah. put olive oil on it, and then that goes in the fridge. And that means when you want to make this, you haven't got the faff of boiling pasta, in the summers, my sisters and I take this in a Ziploc bag with a bit of pesto, and when we're at the swimming pool with nine kids, <laughs> we chuck the pesto in the bag, give it Done a shake, we line the kids up with a plastic cup, and we fob them off with pasta pesto oh, on the boat. How long would that keep for in the fridge? Uh, I, look, 
I would say three to four days easily. Yeah, okay. I'm the type of cook that I'll go in my fridge and I'll have a little sniff and I think if it's good, I give it to my... Imagine being yeah. Kayla, Michaela's kid and just oh, there with your little... Living pot. the dream, wouldn't you? <laughs> Kayla's kid. Mummy. So, there goes the pasta. That goes in. You're mixing it up. And then it goes into your oven-proof dish. It's my favourite bit with mac and cheese. Yeah. Look. What and, you know, yeah. you can put more cheese if you want Imagine more cheese. Look That's going to that. go in my oven-proof dish like that. So if you've got your pasta pre-made, this can take you five few minutes. I can't believe how quick that was. Yeah, yeah. But key. Here we go. More cheese, the leftover cheddar. Ah, uh, crunch. And I'm gonna do the oozy mozzarella because I like it oozy. And you Michaela, just tear it on. If an Italian is cooking and they obviously they wouldn't really have cheddar, would they? So what would what what would be the, the Italian version of cheddar, would it? Well, there's lots of different types. There's cacciotta, there's obviously parmigiano, pecorino. Bacarino, but right. that's what my nonna actually. So I'm gonna put my parmigiano, because yeah. I, I mean it's just so important. Breadcrumbs, sorry, before I forget, because that's what gives it the crunch. Oh, the crunch. Right? And this is gonna go in the oven, but my nonna, when she couldn't afford or locate cheddar, uh, parmigiano in Wales after the war, she'd just air dry cheddar. Wow. She'd leave a block of it out without being covered. You know how it gets that like hard and then yeah. finely grate it. Amazing. And obviously it's not parmigiano reggiano. Come um, on, the nonna. <laughs> but she always used to say to us when we were little, buy the best that you can afford. Aww. So, you know. Love the sandy your nonna. There it is. Da -da -da -da! There it is. There it is. Look how beautiful that Taylor is. It is delicious. It is. And it's ooh, it's got the ooze, but it's got the crunch. Crunch. 50-50. Happy days. Gorgeous. Delicious. Thanks, Michaela Chiappa. You're welcome. It's a, it's a good one. If you want to uh, good one. give Michaela's mac and cheese recipe a go, you can head to this morning app and you'll find details of that and all of some other lovely, delicious recipes. Yeah, they were amazing. Uh, it's time.